So it's been two weeks since I've hurt myself. It was two weeks yesterday. I'm definitely getting better, but it's slow. It's really slow progress. I'm past the point in an injury where I feel like my life is never gonna be the same again and it's gonna suck forever. And <laughs> I can see normality in my future. And uh, most of the pain is gone, but it's still, like a lot of my mobility and my flexibility is back. But uh, it still is sore. So I'm gonna get on my skates today. I didn't skate. All last week. If you didn't see my last roller skating vlog, I uh, bruised my tailbone probably really, really bad. Um, but that's getting better, so I'm gonna get back on them today. We'll see what happens.
Thank you for joining me for another roller skating vlog. It has now been, I think, three and a half weeks since the day that was my first day of getting my roller skates, which are the Moxie Beach Bunnies, and also the day that I injured my tailbone. <laughs> so I'm mostly better now. Uh, at two weeks, I was feeling a lot better and I was starting to slowly get back on my roller skates. And then at three weeks, which was last Thursday, uh, I felt a lot better. And now instead of feeling actually injured, I instead just feel like the tenderness that a bruise would have you feel, like right at the tailbone area. So, and that's even starting to go away now. I'm mostly back to normal now. I gained back like all of my mobility and flexibility last week, which was really good. I had to stop exercising. I typically exercise and or do yoga every single day, and I had to completely stop doing that for the first two weeks, which was a bummer. But yeah, tailbone injuries suck. I'm pretty sure it was just a really bad bruise, but it was, it like really affected everything. Pretty much I feel mostly recovered and it's been three weeks, which seems pretty normal. Uh, what I did was I did ice packs and like over-the-counter pain medication like Tylenol or whatever for the first few days and then after that for I think like for the first two weeks I took an ibuprofen just once every morning and then I was also taking turmeric every day uh, you can get turmeric in supplement form and it's I think it's just straight up powdered turmeric that you take in a pill and turmeric is an anti-inflammatory so those are the two like supplements that I took every day just for two weeks and I'm not taking either anymore. And then I did alternating hot and cold therapy with an ice pack and like a hot pack that you can put in the microwave like two or three times a day. And I slowly started stretching again, but like really slowly and really carefully until it started to like feel good instead of hurt. And uh, I just kind of, slowly started being able to stretch more and more until I got back into being able to do most of a yoga practice again. Um, and now I'm pretty much back to doing, I am, I'm back to doing yoga every day at three and a half weeks. I haven't started actually exercising again. The kind of exercising that I like to do is like just YouTube videos that are kind of low impact hit workouts, which is high intensity interval training where you do something really kind of mellow and gentle just repeatedly for like a couple minutes. That's the kind of exercising I like to do and I haven't gone back to that yet because I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I also got one of those pillows for tailbones. It's like a memory foam pillow that like forms to your butt but it has like a cutout where your tailbone sits when you're sitting down. That helped for a little while. Now I just use it at work at my office job which is really nice actually. And then for the first like week or so I just lied on my stomach as much as I could that was the only position that like was completely relieving so uh yeah that's pretty much how I got over it I think just time and being gentle and hot and cold packs were really really relieving so yeah I'm glad that's mostly over but I am being very careful and gentle right now but I have been roller skating not every day like I would like to there's this thing that people do right now which is the 365 challenge where they it's a challenge to roller skate every single day for a year and y'all might know me I don't really go in for challenges because if I don't feel like doing something I, that's it's not motivating for me to actually like have a what do you call it a, like a challenge to hold you accountable so while I would love to roller skate every day it's pretty hard when for one, you have a day job, and for two, you have a toddler, because I can't take care of her and roller skate at the same time. <laughs> but I've been going probably every few days, and I've been doing it a lot in the garage. That's something I can do while she's napping, but that feels a little limiting after a little while. I've been doing, as you have seen in the videos, a lot of like little drills and stuff, and I'll link below to one series of videos that I used for some of the drills. But it's nice to practice for going back and forth and stopping and getting used to certain movements, but... There comes a point when I just really want to go on the street. And I've learned that tennis courts are amazing to roller skate in. It feels so good to roller skate on tennis court ground. But my tennis court, which is a pretty short walk from my house, you're not allowed to go in there with roller skates, which 
it's probably the same with all tennis courts, but like, I feel like as long as there aren't <sighs> tennis players in there that are right next to where I want to go, because it's a three court setup with one little like fenced off single person area with a wall. So if there's only like one set of tennis players in there on one side and I can go to the other side, I'm cool with it. But if I have to be like right next to people playing tennis, I don't want to do it just because I don't want to bother them. You know, they're there to play tennis and I don't want to be all like up in their business rolling around. So, <laughs> But the thing is, is the tennis court by my house gets frequented a lot. A lot of people use it. So there's almost always somebody in it. But the park that it's at is pretty good too. It's got some like nice paved circles around the playground and stuff. So I've been doing that. The parking lot down the street from my house at the grocery store, it's like a block away from my house. I really want to go there. So hopefully I can take you guys there when I actually am able to do that. That's kind of my next thing that I want to do. But yeah, it's been really fun. I've gotten a couple, there are a couple things that I want to do. I know this video is a lot of just like, me roller skating from afar it might be kind of boring but I think in my next roller skating vlog which I think is going to be next month I think I'm going to do like one a month I'm going to show you all I'm going to take you through all the things that I'm thinking now that I want to do to my roller skates so the first thing is that I bought some magic cushions so these are bushings which is a piece of hardware or whatever that go on the trucks of your roller skates and they're just like kind of squishy rubbery things that go in between the metal pieces of the trucks which are the pieces that your wheels are attached to and then they're from there attached to the plate underneath the boot of the thing and the ones that came with my roller skates are pretty stiff these are squishier so I think that's going to act as like a um, suspension I'm thinking of a suspension in a car whatever that is and I learned about these from Evelyn Ivy, who has like an amazing roller skating vlog. So this is one of the things she did to upgrade her roller skates when she first got her roller skates. And they are the same as mine. So I think these will be nice to add to my skates to be kind of shock absorbers. I did also pre-order some new wheels, which are outdoor wheels, which are supposed to be a little better than the hybrid wheels that came with my skates, which are good for indoor and outdoor. I got some new wheels that uh, are good for, are better for just outdoor, which is what I'm pretty much doing. So I'm hoping in the next video to kind of take you through the process of me as, at putting these on my skates and then putting my wheels on my skates, hopefully if I get them in time. Also, I really want to make a strap. So there are these things called roller skate leashes and pretty much it's just a long nylon, a flat piece of nylon, like a nylon strap. And at each end, you loop it around, and then in one end, there's a little loop that's made and that gets put through the main part of the strap. So you have a strap with two loops at the ends that are adjustable, pretty much. And that means that you can stick your roller skates in the little loops and carry them over your shoulder. And I so far just have been carrying my roller skates in a big bag, and I think having a roller skate leech would be really helpful. They're not that expensive. You can get them for like 10 bucks, but I kind of want to make one since I sew. I figure why not? So we'll check out the hardware store and see what kind of strapping I can find. And uh, if I can, then I'll show you what I did to make one, if I make one. So hopefully there's some fun stuff coming up in the next roller skating vlog. But for now, I hope you enjoyed watching me roller skate in uh, on a trail and in a tennis court. And I think on the street. I don't remember. Something like that. I will leave you there. I hope you're having an awesome day. Have fun and stay awesome.